Queensland Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk has responded to a Sky News report revealing Jackie Trad is being encouraged to make a tilt at federal politics. The Premier says she hasn't spoken to her former deputy since her state election defeat last year and had not been aware unions are calling for her return. There's still no word from Queensland's former Deputy Premier as to whether she'll heed the call from union power brokers. But reports Jackie Trad is being back to run in this year's federal election have sparked intrigue within the party faithful. Jackie Trad's irrepressible. Uh, you know, just when you think she's politically dead, a hand comes up out of the grave and says, hang on, there's a bit more to go yet. Uh, so I've, uh, I've got to admire her tenacity, but I think she's going to find it a pretty tough road. The Senate options look limited which means she's got to run again in a marginal seat. After what Jackie's been through, I could understand she says, look, thanks, that's very kind of you. I really appreciate your public support. But I need to, you know, just consider my position. Queensland's Premier has distanced herself from the suggestion. Premier, what do you think about Jackie Trout potentially making a move to federal politics? Uh, I haven't heard that, but uh, that's uh, clearly a matter for her. Do you think she'd be good in a federal role? Well, she's very experienced. Yeah. Have you uh, been in contact with her since no. the election? No. Ms Trad resigned from Cabinet early last year following corruption allegations. In both instances, she was cleared of wrongdoing. She was later unseated in South Brisbane in the state election. While a Senate move seems more complex, given the party's factional power arrangements, the Queensland boss of the United Workers' Union has suggested a move to the lower house. There are 30 federal seats in Queensland, six are held by Labor. A Labor candidate is yet to be pre-selected in Longman, which takes in Caboolture and the southern Sunshine Coast. The LNP's Terry Young wrestled the seat from Labor at the last federal election, now held by a margin of just 3.3%. Jackie Trad's uh, imminent return to politics should put the fear of God and a shiver down the spine of every Queenslanders. Prior to 2019, the seat was held by the ALP's Susan Lamb, who's now working in Queensland's university sector and has reportedly moved out of the electorate. With the federal election a possibility in the last half of this year, Terry Young has told Sky News he's not concerned he could be up against one of Labor's most notable names. In a statement, he said, I don't worry about things that I can't control. I'm focused on delivering for the people of Longman and that will remain my focus. Julia Bradley, Sky News.